Hello. Um, I'm just sitting here now with my two little babies um, that are roughly five weeks old now and going to give you a little introduction before the video starts um, explaining why I was gone for a year and edited the vlog of Ireland a year later so You're really distracting myself, honestly, I can't focus at all. That's all your fault. This was a bad idea. Um, okay, so... Oh yeah, why I stopped creating? Um, because I was not honest with myself anymore. I created a reality for myself that I thought I need to be happy instead of just continuing to be happy, which I was last year. I unconsciously believed my whole life that I need a romantic relationship to fulfill my potential um, in creation and in terms of feeling love, giving love. I thought it's only about that topic and um, I basically thought I needed to be myself can you imagine my mind and my body they got programmed by tons of blockbuster movies um, and romantic novels and society that this is the only way to live fulfillment it is not you're happy without a man in your lives. I used my manifesting powers. As some know, um, as the law of attraction, which works perfectly fine. Um, and draw a man into my life uh, during the time of Ireland um, and went into relationship with him till the end of the last year who was exactly what I thought I wanted and needed and he had the exact same unconscious beliefs as I did so that worked out I was so absorbed into the illusion that I created for myself that I completely shut down my intuition and did not notice how wrong this was for my highest good. I completely threw away my creative drive, my passion for life, my joy for life in general and expected this man instead to fulfill it, fulfill it for me and give it to me. So instead of feeling it inside, I expected it from outside to come to me, which doesn't make sense. And the thing is, for as long as I could not admit that, I was not able to create anymore. I was blocked with tremendous feelings of guilt and shame for falling into an illusion that I thought was reality um, and for disappointing the man um, that I drew into my life, uh, it was it was such loads of negative emotions that I could not accept for a long time. It was not that the man was the problem in this scenario, it was just that literally me putting my personal fears and desires over my highest good and was what was actually really what I needed to thrive into the way that I need to. She likes to talk a lot, a bit like me. I lost myself and thought I need to find a certain way of love outside to feel whole. I gave up my whole truth and authenticity and integrity um, to serve an illusion that I was carrying around my whole life. This went on through every encounter I ever had with a man. This is me claiming my honesty back like I never did. Um, I never have felt the complete freedom to choose 
according to what is serving my highest purpose. Even in the absence of a romantic relationship, it's something else for everyone. Um, for some, it really is a marriage and children. Um, for others, it's their career or both or other things. And for some, it's neither. Um, and those people, I'd like to say we, have still something to give and to fulfill into, in, in this world um, and feel fulfilled. Nevertheless, I felt it's so important to share this because I'm sure so many people feel like this um, and never really are satisfied in relationships uh, that they look for. And I feel it's an unconscious thing. Um, it's like this inner drive to constantly search for a romantic relationship. And we really need to be aware of that because it can literally hold us away from our highest potential. Um, because when it's supposed to be for you, you will know and it will come in a way that is very natural and you don't really have to manifest in the way that I did. Um, I was literally sitting down every new moon and full moon and bringing myself into the, into this feeling of having this beautiful relationship, like working together and 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 it's really nice, but it was just not for me. Um, so that's where I got lost and very, very unhappy. It's very good to stay open. Um, and if you ever feel like something is not fitting, don't ever feel guilty to leave situations or hold systems behind. Society as it is right now is not the highest developed society one can have. <laughs> There's so much potential towards love and light and freedom and um, more peace and kindness. That all being said, um, I now invite you to come back with me one year ago where no one ever knew anything of a pandemic to Ireland and some lessons I learned there. I hope you enjoy. Sending you much love. Bye. This you saw last time. I am currently still house-sitting in Ireland. In a few days I'm going to get to my next sit. The fact that I find a vegan in a 300-year-old house, I mean, how how are the chances? I didn't even have to make a lot of effort. It just went like, I saw it, I wrote her, she wrote back. We we had a phone call and that was it. Where the heck am I? Is this some kind of joke? Universe? I don't see myself leaving. And if I do, that will be tough. But that's another story, living in the now, right? So right now, I'm... Life is good. If life on Earth is nothing but a sequence of smallest moments, if they are all we have, what makes them beautiful? What matters the most? What fulfills them? What more than our ability to recognize them? And this you see now. Each new day that is given to us comes with a set of tasks that simply need to be done. During my three months in this old house in Ireland, I still had to take a shower, get groceries, prepare food, 
do cleaning and washing and take care of the animals, just to name a few. We like to name them responsibilities, although we don't always like them. I certainly don't. But what I fail to see then, they make up a great amount of smallest moments every day. So, how is it possible to change my way of perceiving duties? Being surrounded by vast fields of grass and ancient trees and all sorts of animals, I used my chance to look for an answer from them. Starting with the bacon. Hi, Timmy. Hi, Timmy. Hi. Hi. I never felt tomorrow closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down. But at least they grow back Wait, first I need to ask you something. Can you imagine someone raises you only to sell you later for slaughter and your meat? Can you imagine, though, being saved in the last minute by someone that feels your life is worth more than any money? I'm not sure how aware Timmy is about the luck he had on the day of his rescue. But I know one thing for sure... He enjoys every bite his life brings. Well, I'm on a one-way track To the fullest Now I know What it means to grow something until you don't. Many people say it's not worth it to make such a fuss about saving only one animal. Well, they clearly haven't met Timmy. Time to recharge. Now I need a tree.
Can I just say something? Of course I can, it's my channel. <laughs> I believe the greatest luxury is to live close to nature or in nature or just with nature. It's, uh, yeah, the best thing in the entire world. know that feeling that's not real but it is actually no I have to take that back living in nature and with nature is not a luxury it might be in our society but it's actually a necessity it is necessary to stay grounded and to stay centered in yourself and uh, to connect with life um, not just for your soul and spirit, it's uh, for your body, it's so important to um, be surrounded by life, by living, breathing things. That's why we need animals, by the way. Not for food, but for company and love and uh, just enjoying the variety of life <laughs> oh how I enjoy getting inner insights about life and I could literally spend the entire day to talk about them but the earth keeps on spinning so I still have some other responsibilities <laughs> by the way. When I told her from my difficult attitude towards responsibilities, she purred at me, which I translate for you into, oh, just relax. I feed her twice a day, not because I must do it, it's something I want to do, because otherwise she would be hungry. I don't want to starve, so she should not either. And that's the same with the fish. He knows the quality of clear water and someone cleaning his tank on a regular basis, after being saved from a life where no one did it. It's the same with the rescued chicken, Shirley, that is enjoying her daily freedom, bred to lay organic eggs. She and her sisters were almost featherless, with severe infections living in small cages. She was the only one that survived. It's the same with the Shetland pony, Dudley, who lives for his daily piece of fruit and carrot after being severely mistreated. 
Yet he now takes the chance to gain trust back into life. Oh, pretty. You're so pretty. I wonder if the electricity is so back. Pretty. You're so pretty. Wait, what? And it's the same with the five sheep, where each story is worth a video. Hello. <laughs> that was quick. I'm hungry, guys. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you. Oh, okay. Okay. Not at all. No, let's. Oh, oh, personal space. Personal space. Or heard something of that. Okay, guys. Hi. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in. introduce you to Hamish. He was, too, rescued from being eaten, and now he spends the day doing nothing but being utterly and completely himself. Look at Hamish. He never pretends to be something he's not so that I like him better. He never acts as if he has figured life out, and he never, ever judges me for not having it figured out at all. And neither do the others. Now I know what it means to grow old. Yeah, now I know the time I've got it is just enough to get by. In the end, they all taught me one thing. There is no one-time solution to enjoy the little moments. Yes, I have reasons to feed the animals and I find some to clean the house or get groceries. But what they really need is my full awareness. Being present in each and every moment is not a lifelong job. It is my life. And as long as I breathe on Earth, it will continue. And I can measure my success in it by how beautiful and miraculous life feels. But do you know what's the best part about that? The more beautiful life feels, the more we automatically live up to our highest potential. Naturally kind, open, wise, free, inspiring. Opening this magical portal where we can meet strangers, not feel like family 